Hello folks, welcome back. You're doing very well indeed. Thank you for sticking with me. I do appreciate that. So let's continue, shall we? We're working on this Your Shopping Basket vibe here and we've made an okay start, uh, but I think we should continue and get this thing perfect. Now, um, at the moment, the table's taking up the whole page and I'd like to do a few tweaks to just kind of make it look a little bit more uh, sensible, you know? So I'm going on to this vibe here, which is from the Bootstrap site. Do you remember all of this vibe here, the grid system and all of that? And I'm going to look out for the thing called Offset, and there it is right there. That's the vibe that we want, okay? And we'll put the table inside a row that goes something like uh, this. It's going to go like this. Okay, so basically upstairs here we'll have a thing that goes like that. And where's my offset thing gone again? MD offset. That's the vibe. That is the vibe. Okay, so it's going to be call, we'll go with th something like MD. Uh, let me have a think here, MD10 maybe, and then we'll go with MD offset dash one. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, anyway, if we do that, and we do something like that. Okay, a bit messy, but I think we got there in the end, folks. Um, and actually, before I even refresh this, I'm also going to bring this subtotal over to the right and indeed the picture. Okay, sorry, we'll make these cells. <laughs> Start again. I'm going to make these cells a bit smaller, okay? Here we go. So this one here where the picture is, I'm going to make that class MD2, I think. And over on the other side where that subtotal thing is, I'll make that, uh, maybe I'll make that MD2 as well, actually. And this one will be MD8. Right. Here we go, wish me luck. Okay, right, well, we had a feeling that would happen, so let me just chuck something in the cart again. Okay, and that's not too bad, not too bad at all. It actually looks kind of cool. Now, I'm going to bring it down a little bit, okay? Uh, margin, hyphen, top, maybe 36, just so it has a little bit of breathing space, and that is not too bad. So now... All we need to do is get this thing populating this table with some meaningful stuff, okay? Okay, folks, so here is the vibe. When this table loads up, we are going to be looping through this stuff here and referencing the store items table, and uh, we're going to basically try and have this uh, all displaying, okay? Now, some of you folks might be thinking, well, hang on one second here. We uh, actually, we may not have one of these things in the store items table. There's a hypothetical possibility that that could happen. So someone adds to a cart, maybe they make a purchase, something happens, and the thing's no longer in store items, okay? Um, now, you could, if you want, do a query on store items for each row and do that. It'll make the page load about like, you know, if there's lots of items, maybe a tenth of a second slower. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, to be honest. However, this is a tutorial and I'm trying to be kind of uh, doing things right. So do you know what? I think I'm going to make a little change if that's okay. Do you see this fetch cart contents here? I'm going to open up Navicat and please forgive me for doing this. Uh, it's just, you know, when I've had a closer look at it, what am I doing? Since having a closer look, I'm thinking to myself, man, maybe we should do this a little bit differently. So I'll take store basket and I'll take store items, okay? And that's going to be joined up where item ID is that okay and we're gonna get the item title we're gonna get the price uh, I might as well take the size I'll take the quantity the color uh, and I think that will do that actually and then 
on this thing here, I'm going to get the small pick and I think I think that's about it. Maybe the item URL if you want. I think that's about us. Okay, excellent. So we've now got this in one of these fancy joins and I do apologise. Now remember folks, there is a possibility that the thing could be deleted. So guess what we need to do to the join statement? What kind of join do we want? All together? Yes, indeed, we want a left join. Okay, that's excellent. Well done. So uh, let's just do a little change. And we'll do something like this. MySQL query equals. I'm just going to build it up here. Okay. So here we go. Um, that's the vibe. And the MySQL query equals all of that stuff there. Okay. There's our MySQL query. And in fact, just to really confuse you, I'm going to take it out of here and I'm going to chuck it up here like so. So we're building up a query here, right? And then I'm going to say if the shopper ID is greater than zero, then the where condition is going to equal where um, store basket dot shopper ID is blah blah. Okay, and otherwise the where condition is going to equal where session ID, where store basket session ID equals session ID. Okay, and then I'm just going to say MySQL query also equals the where condition. Do you see what I'm doing, folks? I'm building up a big query. And thank you to the guy who showed me this, shifting back. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever. Uh, I've ever done that, so thanks a lot. Right, we've now got quite a fancy query. Yes, it should be cool. I apologise for changing my mind on the query front, but look at this. We hit refresh, no items in the cart. We head on in. We go like this. We add two to cart. Looks pretty good, folks. And look at this. If we now go right in here, we can start adding in a whole bunch of stuff and it's all going to be fine. So I can say, for example, item number, right? Now, what does that select say again? Let me just have a quick look, actually. Select uh, store basket, blah, blah, blah. One moment. Store basket item title. Let's just do store basket all. Okay. That's cool enough for me. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just say in here, item number is row item ID. Okay, and if we refresh this page, sorry, I forgot to look through the query here. Here we go. Uh, for each query loading up, oh Jiminy, loading up result as row. There we go. And here we go again. Okay, item number six, excellent, excellent. I think it's gonna work, I think it's gonna work. So here we go, I'm gonna do the item title here, okay? So I'll just say item title, and I'll close off the bold thing, and I'll do a new line. Uh, obviously that's row item title, here we go. Thank you very much indeed, looks fantastic, even if I do say so myself. The item price. Hold on. Hello. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, the item price is row price, okay? Maybe I should have called that row item price. The quantity, I'll do two new lines here. I'm going to do quantity in capitals because I'm feeling a bit crazy. And I'm going to say row item QTY. And then finally, I'm going to do echo. Anchor, we'll have a little link here. Can you handle the vibe? And we'll have it going to something like store basket forward slash remove. Um, and then we'll add on the row ID. 
and I'll just say remove, okay? So let's just have a quick look at this. We'll see how this looks. Okay, an error on line 13. Let me just have a quick, here it is here. There we go. Starting to look kind of nice, don't you agree? Don't you agree? I think it is starting to look pretty nice. Now the picture, uh, this is one that we're going to need to have a little think about and I'll show you why, okay? Um, I'd like you to say, let me just see, I'd like you to load up site settings. And maybe I should have it upstairs to be alphabetical here, you know, as if it matters, right? Uh, I'm going to load up site settings and on site settings we have a vibe for get currency symbol. Do you remember that stuff here? Okay, so I'm going to say uh, fetch cut contents. Oh, man, I'm in the wrong bit again. What an idiot. Sorry. Sorry. Draw cut contents. This is where I want the action to be. Um, right. Sorry about that. This load site settings, okay, and I'm going to say data currency symbol equals this site settings get currency symbol. Good, that's good. And I forgot what I was trying to do there. Um, Oh, uh, I was trying, that's what I was doing. I was wanting to get the item segments thing. Remember this stuff here? You know, actually we don't even need that. I was going to do that so that we could do a link back to the picture, but we don't even need that, man. We do not even need that. Right, let me just get my act together here. Um, on item price, I'm going to add in the currency symbol like that. So that's going to add in a pound sign, okay? Um, the, the pick, now this is where the action happens. That's going to be an image, obviously. And the source is going to be base uh, URL. Now hold on a minute. Base URL and then probably small picks forward slash Row, uh, let me have a think here. Row small pick. I think that's it, actually. I do believe that that's it. Now, there's something that PHP doesn't like. Hold on. Uh, item image is that. Row small pick. Close it off. Yep, here we go. Oh man, don't you just love it when that happens? Uh, right, here we go. Okay, that's not too bad. However, remember folks, there is a hypothetical possibility that the image may have been removed. So we need to, or that the item could have even been removed. So I'm gonna say if uh, row small pick does not equal an empty thing, then we're gonna do that. Okay, that's the vibe. And uh, otherwise, I'll just say echo no image preview available. Available. And that's that, okay. No image preview available. Let's close off PHP. Let's hit refresh. Is this not unbelievable, folks? What on earth is wrong with me? Do you know what it is? I'm supposed to be meeting somebody at 7 o'clock. And if you look at the clock here on the top right, you'll see that I'm really in trouble. Um, the things I do for you guys, I tell you, the things I do, I need to come back into PHP. That's what the problem is. All right, here we go. So, looks kind of nice. Do you agree? Do you agree? Uh, subtotal is cool. Um, no, the subtotal is pretty far from cool. Let's calculate the subtotal. Here we go. So the sub total uh, is going to be row price multiplied by row item quantity. And I'm going to format this thing, right? I'm going to like do a thing called subtotal dis description and we'll make that number format the subtotal to two decimal places. So that's 
that's going to add a common, oh jeez. Hello? Doing okay, how are you? I'm still, I'm so sorry, I'm running a wee bit late here. I won't be too late, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just finishing off a video, is that okay? Is it, is it, is it desperately heavy if we show up late? Right, okay, I'll be out, I'll be leaving here. I've, I've, I need to pick up some decent clothes as well. Would it be okay if I turned up at half past or is that too late? Oh, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for that, I totally appreciate that. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay then, stay cool, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Man, what a way to go. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, folks. You can see what I'm up against here. <laughs> you can see what I'm up against here. Right, okay, here we go. So, look at that. Isn't that nice? Now, why did it not do the subtotal description? Look at commas going to appear. Yes, you see, doesn't that look much nicer? So, this is all kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more things to the cart, I think. So I'll add, uh, let's have three of these, okay, uh, that's good, that's excellent, and you can see the mistakes all showing up here, there we go, so there's the vibe, and we'll have it so that we calculate the grand total, right, so grand total starts off at nothing, hold on, does that before the for loop, Look at the mistakes I'm making. This is because I'm in a hurry, you know. Um, grand total is zero. And then with each vibe, the grand total equals grand total plus subtotal. So right at the bottom here, we're going to add in the currency symbol again. And we're going to add it on to grand total, actually I'll add it on to grand total description and I shall define grand total description uh, right about, I think I'll just jump in here actually and I'll just say grand total desk equals number format grand total to two decimal places and it just makes it look nice, you know, that's all it's doing here basically. Uh, echo currency symbol and the grand total description. That should be us. Okay. That should be us. And if we refresh. Oh man. I think there's something a bit freaky going on with my local host here. Uh, maybe I need to look into that actually. Let me just have a quick shot here. That's kind of cool. Right, okay, so the grand total is fine. It seems to be working and everything is super cool. I think if we make this final row bold in colour, then that will probably be the, the perfect end to a very miserable tutorial for you guys. And I apologise for all of my mistakes and whatnot. Style equals font weight bold. There we go. Okay, so we are now doing the, the cart. Shall we do remove from cart? I think we shall. So when they click on this, it goes to store basket remove and a number. So here we go, store basket. Uh, we'll do remove. Remove. And we're taking in an update ID, which is this URI segment and by the way, you could have made this a form button and submitted it and do all sorts of security and whatnot. Um, I'm just going to do uh, this and I'll say delete and we'll delete for that update ID. And then I'm going to get that refer URL thing going again. Remember this stuff here? You know. Uh, so I'll do that and then I'll redirect to the refer URL, okay? Now, to be super cool, we could run a thing that makes sure 
that the person's allowed to uh, do this, okay? So something like, uh, make sure remove is allowed, okay? So we've got this update ID, okay? So we're gonna query store basket, get where we've got that update ID for each query loading up result as row. Uh, I'm gonna say session ID is row session ID and then I'm gonna say uh, shopper ID is row shopper ID right now I'm gonna get the customer session ID and the customer shopper ID we had this away back here okay so uh, where on earth is this here we go so if we do something like that, okay, and we'll call this customer session ID, customer shopper ID, right? And the vibe is if something or something else, then cool else, uncool. And what are the conditions? Well, something like this. If session ID is equivalent to customer session ID, okay, or uh, shopper ID is equivalent to customer shopper ID, then I'm just going to return true. Otherwise, I'm going to return false. Okay. And uh, if not is set shopper ID, then just return false because it means it's an invalid item, okay? So I'm making sure that the person is allowed to do this delete here. Uh, allowed is this, make sure allowed. And I'll just say that um, if allowed is equivalent to false, then just redirect them back to the cart, okay? Uh, otherwise, redirect them. Why did I bother with that refer URL nonsense? We're taking them back to the cart every time. Right, there we go. So that's us. Thank you very much. It's going to go back here now. Um, we hit refresh. Here are the items. I'm going to remove the black Jimi Hendrix Strat. Here we go. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Right, update ID is this URI segment. Three, here we go, here we go. Back again, right, refresh. Removing the Jimi Hendrix strat, here we go. I cannot believe it, store basket 26, it has a problem, let me just see. Session ID is row session ID, what's it all about? Undefined method session ID, I don't get it. I do not get it. Why would it? Oh, sorry. I did the things. This is what happens when you rush, folks. This is what happens when you rush. Let me do this again. I'll have two of these. I'll have one of these. Okay, that's us. Let's remove this one here. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. We remove that. Look, see, see, everything cool. In fact, I think it's more than just cool. I think it's finger licking cool. So there you go. One item in your shopping basket. I'll have three bass guitars. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Let's remove the bass guitars. Let's remove this one. Okay, happy. Everything cool. You know, one thing I've just noticed actually is that we haven't added the item price anywhere. So I'm going to bring up that add to cart. What a stupid mistake. And where it's got this vibe here, uh, I'll do it underneath item ID actually. And I'll just say item price is item price like that. Okay. Um, I don't even think that's the right place. Do you know that? I'm so sorry, folks. I think I'll do this underneath this vibe here. 
So that's going to be on store items, views, and it's going to be around about here. Okay, so we'll have an H2 and we'll just say in here item price H2. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to do a thing that adds in the currency symbol. And of course, we don't have the currency symbol. So, store items view. Ah, uh, oh geez, I'm so late here. This load module site settings. Uh, let's have data currency symbol. Currency symbol equals this site settings. And I think it was, where on earth is it? Get currency symbol. Here it is. I just can't stop, folks. I just can't stop. Uh, do we have an item price? We do. Fetch data from DB. I'm going to uh, format the item price. I'm going to make up a thing called data item price description. And that's going to equal number format data item price. Okay. And it's going to format to two decimal places. But then I'm going to say data item price description equals string replace and I'm going to get rid of 0, 0.00 when it shows up and I'm going to do something like that okay data item price description okay so that's us and if we now go to this view thing and I'm going to call this item price description keep an eye on the price here right do you see that looks kind of good don't you think? Don't you think? And I'll just say here, our price. There we go. That is not too bad. So if we give this a quick shot, thank you very much. One item on the cart. I'm really sorry that these videos have been so long, folks. But I think we get there in the end, you know. Oh, just before I finish, there's one thing that I almost forgot. Oh, I almost forgot this. When we're doing the thing uh, on cart, sorry, cart, right, on the cart controller, when we are running fetch cart contents, let us remember that store basket has got to change. So just do that, right? And when we see this store basket thing, just say table. And that should be that, okay? So it should not actually change anything. Uh, everything should still work. Uh, and it should all be cool. Here we go again, right? Four of those. That's fine. Everything's cool. Okay. Seven of those. <laughs> uh, we'll remove. We'll remove. And I tell you folks, I think this is coming together. I think we are starting to build an online shop. Okay. So well done. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.